Hello, welcome to my workshop. Not in the workshop today. I'm at the Midlands Model Engineering Exhibition in uh, the Warwickshire Event Centre in Le near Leamington Spa and we're going to just wander around the exhibition and I will put some links to some stuff in the bottom in the description. Now, some of these engines that we're looking at now were made from casting sets, quite a lot of those from Stuart models, but not all. Now, for example, on the left is a Stuart number four. And this engine we've been past, this traction engine here, looks like a 2-inch. Now this is the Stuart model stand. They sell castings, machined and fully assembled. That there we're looking at now is the Stuart Twin Victoria. Triple compound, twin compound and a twin cylinder launch engine. A beam engine. There's a full setup. That there is a donkey pump. I'll put a link to Edwin White's channel. He's just made one. I think then that there is one of the machine tool models you can buy from Stuart. That's a planer. And here are some. Uh... There's also some fabulous Sterling engines here. This is this is this a Sterling Engine Society. This is a Sterling Engine Society website. Uh, not website. Club stand. They're based internet or all, all on the web, all over the UK, and some members in other countries. One of the things I intend on making is a Sterling engine. There's a solar powered in the left hand corner there. And this is the Society of Model and Experimental Engineers, SME, and the chap is cutting a gear on a Myford lathe. It's a rather painstaking process. And that is a Sterling engine powered fan. And you can see the SME make a whole variety of different models. And that there in the centre is an artillery model of an artillery piece.
<clears throat> this is the Birmingham Society of Model Engineers, I believe. That is one very, very chunky steam locomotive chassis and part belt. Some fantastically machined from solid cylinders. I think that's seven and a quarter inch gauge. There is a part built boiler. And this is not a club stand, this is some various exhibits. That's a fantastically machined four cylinder side valve engine. Sure exactly what that one there is. You see it's got twin steel engines. Hereford Society of Model Engineers. Quite a lot of boats and various different other things. And this is a ten and a quarter inch gauge cock of the north. This is a fantastically detailed model and running model. You can see where the driver sits in the uh, tender. can pause and have a read if you like. And this is a seven tray. And I will put a link to the YouTube channel down below. Some fantastic video of it sailing. Is that a pilot cutter? No, it's a seven tray. It's a sailing barge, and the barge is a cargo carrying yeah. flat bottom boat for getting into tight, shallow yeah. places. So it's the equivalent of a 10 sailing barge, which you probably have heard of. Yeah. Um, but this operated in the 7. And some more exhibits put into win prizes. That is an eight cylinder in line with a supercharger by the looks of it.
That's a part built locomotive. Looks to be very nicely built so far. And this is a wind-powered heat pump. You see at the bottom is a pair of, well, a pair of Stirling engine cylinders. Because if you put motion into Stirling engines, it can pump heat. And if you put a heat differential across them, it can generate motion. That's a fantastic motor point model, isn't it? Feast your eyes on that. Now this is the London and North Western Railway model engineer. They make models of the London and North Western locomotives. Each railway company tended to have its own distinct style at different times. And this is the Gas Turbine Society. I'll see if I can find a link for that as well. But he was finding at full power he was the shaft, the four-mill shaft, which was piano wire, essentially, so no, 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 was twisting 20 degrees. 20 degrees. That's quite a lot. That is a lot, yeah, yeah. yeah there's a lot of flex. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, We're outside, and this chap had just taken off the leather belt that he was using to drive a bench because of the impending rain. That's a hay making or straw baling. Now that red traction engine there was built in six months by the gentleman with the orange gloves. Sikh gentleman who, uh, who managed to do it in six months when he managed to get some peace and quiet and no distraction. It's a very nice model. Four engines in steam, these are all being put under cover because it is about to rain quite hard. <laughs> Have you ever tried? No, no, you back her in. When it chucks it down in about five minutes' time. Yep. Yeah, don't let me hold you up. And back in to the main buildings.
There are model engineering societies up and down the country and up and down a lot of countries. So whether you're making actual models or bits and bobs, they are a fantastic resource to join. Uh, if you want to do machining or filing or sanding or, or grinding and so on, both for advice and indeed occasionally borrowing tools and using sometimes the club's machine tools which may well be bigger than the ones you have at home. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, also hit the like, that really helps and leaving a comment also helps. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.